A set of campaign shells was probably a standard piece of kit for most army officers and very practical to go on top of a campaign chest. They were made throughout the 19th century. You don't see that many anymore that are early or mid 19th century, but when you do, there's uh, a marked difference in the quality, a little bit in the style of the columns, and you can normally, if you've handled a few, get a feeling of which are the earlier ones. The timber shells also tend to be uh, better quality. By the time the Army and Navy store came along in the 1870s, the design had become fairly standardised, where you'd have either teak or mahogany shells, although they did offer walnut and oak later, brass pillars or standards with a screw finial nut to the top and a foot nut to the bottom. Sometimes they didn't have a foot and they would screw into a brass plate inset to the underside of the bottom shelf. Now the Army and Navy store produced many, many, many sets of these. You, you can't really say that uh, they're difficult to find or rare, but they are very practical, very good looking with a brass set off against the colour of a teak or mahogany, and so still very useful. The Army and Navy store, apart from selling themselves, probably also made them for a number of other companies. We know that they sold um, campaign furniture, furniture to Solomon Brothers, who then rented and sold it on. They probably also supplied Harrods and a number of other people. This set, I think, although not marked Army and Navy store, is likely by them. So let's take it apart and I'll tell you why I think it's probably by the Army and Navy store. So why do I think this set is by the Army and Navy store? Well, let's have a look at these markings to the undersides of the shelves. And we can see we've got a four digit number there, and then also the number 15. Now, that four digit stamp is fairly typical of the Army and Navy store. We've seen that on a number of their items. They don't have their, their name stamped anywhere that we can see. Uh, sometimes you see ANNCSL stamp for Army and Navy Store Cooperative Society Limited, but not on this set. But the clincher for me is for stamp 15. And in the Army and Navy Store's catalogue of 1883, the reference number for this set of shelves is number 15. So I think there's a good chance that the two tie up. Now in that catalogue, they also offered these shelves in two sizes, um, two foot eight inches and two foot 11 inches. And they also offered them with wooden as well as brass standards, not something that I've ever seen before. Perhaps they weren't as popular and they didn't sell as well. Now this is the top shelf and um, we can see that we've got the, the three holes here for the cresting rail. Now what they also did with the top shelf, which they didn't do with the middle and the bottom shelf, is that they finished the underside of it. So if you wanted to use it without the cresting rail, you could do. I think they probably often sold them without the cresting rail as well. Uh, you could have the opportunity to buy them with or without, depending on how big your wallet was. Um, and if you were buying it without, then you would just be given it with the polished side, and so not the holes set up. So there you go. We have a set of fairly standard, but very useful campaign shells, likely made by the Army and Navy store, going to be late 19th century. They've got brass standards. We can go in a little bit closer. We can see the finials and the feet and the pillars or standards. 
as they call, call, call them. When buying these sets, sometimes you'll find that they're made of uh, sheet brass wrapped around a core, and you just want to check the seam, if they do have a seam, because quite often the seam might split and there might be a little bit of movement, so you just want to be sure of that before you buy a set. And we can see that this set, originally the brass had a gilt finish on it, just to lift it a little bit and to stop you having to polish it all the time. That little uh, coating of lacquer would prevent that. Also the cresting rail underneath, we can see that stamped with the four digit number 7748 and the reference 15. So set of teak and brass campaign shelves, late 19th century, more than likely uh, made by the Army and Navy store, probably for sale by another company.